overview, the overtone, we set the scene, the abstract, the rundown, the preface, the stone. What's up guys? This is um Roger. Uh have I done a vlog for a while? Not quite. Uh how long? Probably a good few weeks here, but I've been bumping to do do something, but I haven't really had a chance to, so I apologise for that. I've got uh, a bag of stuff to get off my chest, so watch out, I'm going to pump out about three blogs over the next couple of days and so. But guys, on a real note, I've been amazed by this mixtape phenomenon. Yeah, amazed, amazed, amazed. It, it's, it's, uh, you know what I mean? The amount of quality product that's coming out, you know, via mixtapes, you know, I salute the guys who are doing it, you know, and, you know, the likes of Governor, Triple Low, but you know, over the past year they've been giving away free music, you know what I mean? I heard that Governor B got uh, 10,000 downloads the other day. Absolutely fantastic, great quality products these guys are releasing. But you know what guys? And I'll seem to moan about a bit, a bit about the, the whole industry, the whole things, whatever, yeah? But the consumers, yeah? Guys, why is everything for free? Why do we have to do things for free? It's, I'm thinking it's about if these guys sold the product, would they sell 10,000 copies? And my thing is this, yeah? yeah people may say that, you know, um, okay, why can't we do music as good as so and so and so and uh, these secular artists or these sort of artists in the industry? We can't go nowhere without you supporting you, uh, supporting us, yeah? And for me, it's a struggle to know that, you know, in this, if I did a free event, it'd be packed out. If I charge, Everyone has problems, you know. Uh, everyone gets, you know. But the real thing, things cost money, you know. I know apparently there's a philosophy that the gospel is free. Well, when you buy a Bible, um, it actually costs money to cut down a tree and bring it together. So for me, it's the same thing. When you, these guys are releasing that is quality products, and I believe that we need to be supporting them. We need to be saying to them, stop giving us this free music and let's sell it so we can buy it. You know, there's iTunes, there's so many easier media medias just to buy this music. So all I can do guys, you know, and this is not a, um, great to see all these mixtapes and it's great props to the UK for bringing out these mixtapes, yeah? And I see Matthew Allen brought out his, his, um, his little free track down soldiers. I'm like, that could have been a single that could have blown up. And I'm like, but is the industry ready for that? It's not about the industry, is the consumer ready for that? And I'm putting the pressure on you customers out there, um, people that love gospel music and people who downloaded their 10,000 Downloads aware of Gov Governor's album. How many of you would have bought it if it was an album? Realistically, you know, and, and my thing is this You know, we need to support it. Nothing's free in this world. You know what I'm saying? Let's, don't get it twisted, yeah? You can say, oh, salvation's free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just let, let, shift those costs. But the practicalities of the church building's not free. You know where you give your tithe and offerings from the Bible days. There's um, there's always had to be a, mon a monetary movement because things cost money. Nothing's free in this world. So for me, all I want to do is encourage people. We need to, yeah, do the mixtapes, guys. Carry on. Yeah, they're real good, yeah? But I want to see the guys release their albums on iTunes, on downloads, and for us to go out there and support it. And you know what guys, you know the shameful thing is, yeah? How many of you guys have bought, look at your second albums that you bought over the past year, and compare it to how many gospel albums you bought out, and are you prepared to spend the same amount of money on gospel music? That's my question, yeah? I'm not saying that's true or why just being harsh and whatever, but guys, that's a question I'm posing out to you. All I do is encourage you to just invest in us in the gospel industry because we need your investment. So we need you to buy to buy albums. We need you to pay to go into events. Stop trying to get in there for free. And just be real with us. We've, we've got things to do and we've got an industry to go. So guys, God bless you all. This is Roger. I'd hopefully this uh, <laughs> went too harsh on uh, <laughs> the customers and hopefully come to next year live. But uh, that's it, yeah. So God bless you. Roger and out. So we set the scene, the abstract, the rundown, the preface, the start of something new. Conspectors.